Good morning, El Dorado. Today is February 27th, 2014. I'm Avery Lord. And I'm Jose Jimenez. Today we'll be looking at... A famous alumni. The senior of the month. Another episode of Hot Talk University. Fago T. Follies. And a secret. Hey Avery, have you seen Frozen? Of course not. Well, okay. You know there's an alumni who worked on the film? Oh really? Yeah, look, take a look. You might be familiar with just a few of these Disney classics. El Dorado's very own alumni, Chris Buck, had his hand involved in all these films. From animating a character to even being the director of Disney's new animated and Oscar nominated film Frozen. We got to sit down with him and ask him what he was like as a golden hawk. I was a total nerd. I did play tennis. I loved playing tennis. I was out there on the court all the time, but I loved art even more. And I was always drawing. I was did some painting here, all sorts of things. Looking back, he never could imagine the idea for working for the Disney company. There is such a legacy there that sometimes it can get a little overwhelming when you really think about being a Disney animator or working at Disney. We try to do is you know sort of put that aside and create new things you know we are our own individuals these days and we try to do work that speaks to today's you know audiences before chris left he wanted to give us hawk some advice for our future whether we are going into the film industry or not don't don't be afraid to fail um keep going keep pushing um keep creating and um, and you will succeed, you know? You will succeed beyond your wildest dreams. I can't believe um, where I'm at right now. Um, I could never have guessed it back in uh, El Dorado, um, but I'm just so grateful that I held on to my dream and, um, and, uh, and dreams do come true. I'm still not gonna watch it. Wow, Avery, you're missing out. But I bet you what? Bet you the scene of the month side. Emma is one of the hardest working people I know. She's involved in so much all over campus, and yet she still manages to give everything she does her all. Emma Suchard is an El Dorado phenom. She's taking nine classes. Um, she goes from zero to seventh period every day. She's taking five AP classes this year, her senior year. She does really well in them. She studies all the time. She, she's very hardworking. She's definitely not taking it easy. She's one of the most responsible adult-like people I know. Whenever there's a group project, she's typically the one volunteering to organize everything, get people on the same page. I know in my group of friends, she almost acts as our mom. She's always the one making sure that we are doing what we need to be doing, and she's pretty much always right. I also really appreciate uh, her helpful attitude. Um, Emma's always willing to go the extra mile. When people ask her like about questions academically or just in general, she's always happy to answer them. She helps in any way she can and doesn't wait to be asked. She just steps up and does what needs to be done. Emma's always there convincing me to get done those test corrections or that project that I would otherwise sometimes do later. Congratulations, Emma Suchard, for being January Hawk of the Month. You so deserve it. Congratulations, Emma, for being Seed of the Month. Now here's a look at Hawk Talk University. Well, let's just take a look at this year's Faculty Follies. Faculty Follies in a performing arts center near you. Friday, Friday, Friday. March 7th, March 7th. March 7th. Come watch Mr. Samson try to sing. We gotta pack the pack. You gotta go, $10 only. I don't know if any of you guys have heard that Mrs. Switzer had received a prestigious award. I did. In fact, I helped film it. 
Every year, the Placentia Yorba Linda School District selects three of its teachers for the honorable title of Teacher of the Year. This year, one of our very own teacher hawks has won the title. She teaches language arts and is in charge of our theater program. She does theater, she does comedy sports, there's a match tonight, she teaches language arts, um, she runs like 18 clubs, it seems. You know, I mean, there's just absolutely a ton of things that she's involved in here. I think she deserves this award because she's one of the most hardworking, you know, people I know, one of the most dedicated teachers. She cares about her students, cares about Owen and me, her family. She's, you know, she's just terrific. She's amazing. This year's Teacher of the Year is Mrs. Switzer. I am so pleased to announce that Mrs. Switzer is one of our three Teachers of the Year of Placentia Yorba Linda. So congratulations. Yeah. When I found out she won, I was truly excited for her. I think that, that she definitely has been deserving of this award for, for a long time, and it's terrific to see that she finally got it. Yeah, I was totally shocked. Congratulations, Mrs. Switzer. Hey, Avery, you know there's just like a bunch of solar systems and outside of our solar system that's probably the same solar system as ours? That's probably with the two same people as you and me that are doing the same segment right now? What does that have to do with extra announcements? I don't know. I thought that was like a cool thought you would like to know. There is a meeting tomorrow in room 210 for the Do Something Club. UNICEF, there is a meeting today at lunch in room 204. The second annual Iron Hawk will be on March 5th at lunch in the Theatron. Club Food Day will be next Thursday at lunch. Today at lunch, come to room 802 for a ceramics throwing demonstration given by Mr. Pacu. Black and Gold Dress Up Day. There is a Black and Gold Dress Up Day on Wednesday, March 5th. Physics and Chem Club, come to the meeting today at lunch in room 708 to compete. Sadie's tickets are now on sale for the following prices. This week, $10 with ASB, $13 without. March 3rd through the 7th, $13 with ASB and $16 without. March 10th through 13th, $15 with ASB and $19 without. The dance is Saturday, March 15th from 8 to 11 p.m. There will be a meeting today for Chess Club in room 303. AP sales end this Friday. Don't be left out. Please see Mr. Dominguez for details. Community service. Please see Mr. Lawson to make sure your 40 hours of community service required for graduation are completed. CSF. Please submit your CSF application copy of Grades with Citizenship and $4 donation to Ms. Cavaluzzi or Mrs. Oberly in rooms 303 or 704 by this Friday. Summer School. Summer School information is now available. See your counselor if you think you need to register. Community Service. Friends Your Belinda is looking for people to make coffee drinks. Contact Nancy F. at friendschurchyl.com or call 714-777-7305. Now let's take a look at some sports. Boys basketball shut down North Torrance 79 to 71. Their next game is Blackout Friday. Boys tennis versus Santa Margarita at Santa Margarita this Friday. Go get the W, boys. Girls lacrosse versus Beverly Hills at the Rose Bowl this Friday. You got this, ladies. El Dorado placed four wrestlers at the CIF Wrestling Championship over the weekend. Connor Duke, Gina Roman, and Michael Miller will be wrestling this weekend in the Masters meet at the Ontario Arena. Good luck, guys. Girls basketball won their first round in the CIF playoffs last Saturday. They faced North Torrance last night. Results will come in next week. Well, this ends another episode of Hawk Talk. Till next time, I'm Avery Lord. And I'm Rockin' Jose. Have a great Thursday, Hawks. Maybe, maybe.